Welcome to this video, International Project and Consultancy. I developed and practiced this forest management system as an international consultant, while contracted as forestry engineer and researcher by the Forestry Service and a research center of one of the 10 Amazon countries. Labor. This forest management system requires one mandate of trained labor per hectare of forest every 16 years to keep on sequestering this amount every year. This is obviously not very labor intensive, that is needed because very large areas need to be covered. In the project that I was contracted for, the government and the Forest Service paid for the labor that was delivered by Amerindians mostly from the nearby tribes or communities. We had no impact on the environment because we lived in Amerindian made huts made of material provenient from the forest, we did not have modern facilities like electricity, water, or whatever. All the above is proven and documented and is verifiable. Back to the forest management. The first presented forest management that I see as the first part or option of the action plan would yearly remove 35 billion tons a year, missing only 2 billion tons to remove all 37 billion tons of carbon dioxide released by the world in one year, if only applied in an area the size of the Amazon basin. It could also be applied in much of the rest of Brazil or any of the nine neighboring countries or similar areas that present a similar tropical and subtropical climate to Brazil. South America covers 17.84 million square kilometers. These areas can be or can include degraded or abandoned agricultural lands. Especially in all cases of non-Amazon or non-tropical forest areas, the input of organic material, compostation or fermentation of selected and sifted urban or domestic waste, would be highly recommended and these inevitably would be sequestered in the, further, formation of deep soils and accumulating agroforest biomass. Additional mandates and or ultralight robots. With more mandates or additional ultralight robots I estimate the sequestering could go up to at least 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year for the Amazon forest alone. Observation, from here on, what I mention are estimated numbers based on proven numbers. If the second part of the action plan is also applied, leading to the combination, the additional amount of sequestered carbon dioxide would be roughly equivalent. 1. To the billions of tons of carbon provenient from the selected, composted or fermented, sterile, and sifted material that Brazil and the rest of the world would be able to deliver to the Amazon basin or the dedicated equivalent areas. 2. The additional metabolic and microbial activity of forest and soil and its consequent carbon dioxide sequestering. The more carbon put into enriched agroforest, which is sequestering already from input, urban waste, the more it will sequester from the atmosphere. You could see this as growing the carbon dioxide sequestering body. A small tree with little or poor soil will sequester less than a large tree with a deep carbon-rich soil. This could sound weird, but the more carbon you add, the right way and to a certain limit that depends on frequency, to an agroforest, the more it will sequester. The dedicated area does not need to be the Amazon basin, but that's the region that makes more sense, is best suited and brings additional benefits like making the Amazon forest more fire-resistant, protected and more stable, less mortality. Brazil on its own could deliver and sequester in these enriched agroforest an estimated additional 10 billion tons a year, urban waste treatment, this without counting on the agrobusiness. If the agrobusiness could be convinced to deliver organic waste, this number would multiply. Once the very high enriched agroforest carbon sequestering capacity would be reached, this number is unknown, but certainly separates by far 200 tons per 16 years per hectare for the soil alone, we humans still have two possibilities in case global climate and other objectives were not corrected or reached yet. Observation or Reminder We began the overview or study with the Amazon basin or a similar area of non-Amazon forest. 1. Increase the area in Brazil and the rest of South America or in the rest of the world. 2. Increase the extraction, carbon, out of the agroforests to the maximum level that does not prejudices the dedicated agroforests. As examples. 1. If trees were not pruned yet, start to prune, or increase the pruning, and transform the pruned material into human or animal food or organic material that for the objective needs to be sold inside, areas still in demand and outside the dedicated area, which in agricultural practices outside the area would avoid use and mining of fertilizers and releasing of CO2 because of the mining and use of fertilizers. 2. Production of synthetic fuel, ethanol, and electricity for internal use and eventually to export outside the dedicated areas. 
Animals could be kept in the agroforest and be fed directly from pruned and shredded material. 3. Use compositionally and structurally less important trees to shred parts of them into chips that have to be moved outside of the dedicated area, the same things apply as that applied for the pruning. In the case of the Amazon forest I recommend no extraction of logs at all, at least for now, this is explained elsewhere. To make sure that extraction of logs will not take place, making the forest inaccessible for the trucks and machines involved in the extraction of logs could be necessary. In all other occasions extraction of logs could be considered, still not very recommended because of eventual damage. Pruning before felling and directional felling could help to avoid damage. But if the log is not decreased in size after the felling, logging damage still seems inevitable to me. A very intensively managed agroforest in an agricultural area outside of tropical forest most probably could deal much better with damage and avoiding felling and logging damage will become much easier, mainly because of accessibility and logistics. In general I am not in favor of extracting whole logs unless they could be lifted by air or cable systems or if the size of the logs would be significantly reduced until they fit in wagons typical for mining, just as a reference for maximum size of logs. All of this is difficult and not reliable inside any tropical forests, perhaps unless all machines would be equipped with cameras that are monitored by cameras that are online. Extraction as chips, also for energy production, or reducing to sizes that fit in a typical mining wagon, are possibilities, again no larger transport than wagons as common in mining. In any case the extraction of logs wood and wood products out of the Amazon forest must be avoided, and if logs or wood products are needed, for now it is preferred to include areas that are not tropical forests. In the combined action plan synthetic fuel, ethanol, and electricity could and should be produced at least for the demand inside of the dedicated agroforest, as long as we do not have other solutions to generate the needed energy for robots etc. Sequestering of 135 billion tons a year, far above the global annual release of 37 billion tons. Anyhow with only a dedicated area the size of the Amazon forest, Carbon sequestering can be increased to up to 135 billion tons of carbon dioxide a year, far above the global annual release or emission of 37 billion tons of carbon dioxide. All parties need to stop to look away from the obvious and proven techniques simply because they do not know them. For the Amazon Amerindians, those of the dedicated areas and possibly all humans, direct great opportunities and benefits could arise. In any case all humans would benefit. Amongst many other benefits, the biodiversity consequences of the enriched agroforest would also decrease the risk for future epidemics, especially in the dedicated areas, as it is known that biodiversity is a primary barrier against epidemics. The Amazon forest has the highest biodiversity of all biomes. This is so because it is a relic-enriched agroforest. For the same reasons enriched agroforest will acquire high biodiversity too possibly and depending on management higher biodiversity than the actual Amazon forest. Just a number to remember 80-90% to 90 of carbon in all the biomass of this planet is sequestered in the tropical forests, this is so without any action plan. We better make sure we keep it there, and therefore we will need to opt for an efficient action plan. I present or volunteer myself to be a consultant in a project aiming for the mentioned price and other prices. I do not charge the price or prices themselves and not even parts of it. I just want to be paid as a consultant during the time that is needed for me to transfer my knowledge and expertise to counterparts, I suppose that six months and possibly less will suffice. If it were in a region in the Amazon that I agree it fits well, internet needed, I will consider consulting for free. In other videos you will see for yourself that I did acquire the knowledge, expertise and proofs, while being an international consultant in this matter. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.